morning, 823. We've been talking about fashion trends of the past, like scrunchies, bell bottoms, and members only jackets. Y'all remember those? Trying to campaign to bring those back. <laughs> but what about the future of fashion? That is the question right now. We're turning to one South Florida guy who designed a hot new style of a wearable towel. Kristen is in love with this thing. You know him best on Bravo's hit new show, Miami Social. Please welcome Ariel Stein. Good morning, Ariel. I'm, I'm rocking your wearable towel. It is, it is most friendly to girls that want to do their hair and, uh, you know, not have to feel <laughs> naked when they get up or even answer the door when in a rush. Um, it's so movable. You can just literally, like, it, it never falls off. And it's been such a great hot item right now running through the I, U.S. What, how do you create something like this? Uh, it's actually a family project. Um, my brother, cool. sister, and I, we all got together. Um, I worked in fashion, always uh, be backstage, having trouble dressing models, models running around naked everywhere, feeling uncomfortable, uh, photographers citing them. So you always have the person hold up the towel, have them change. And then um, my brother actually got very crafty. Because uh, we said, how can you actually, how can a girl be comfortable backstage and walk around? I mean, you don't have robes anywhere, but you always have a bunch of towels. So, um, you know, we just kind of all sat around and the towel just came alive. I love it. Yeah. And, am I being distracting you? No. Still, still wearing the towel? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're, on the, you're on the show Miami Social. Yes. Uh -huh. you're, one, you're fashion designer, go around Miami, and it's, it's on Bravo Tuesday nights? Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. All yes. right, how's that going? It's great, actually. Uh, we just had episode number two. Episode number three airs this uh, Tuesday. I'm very, very excited. Um, it's, uh, it's really how Miami really is. I mean, it's a lot of fun. The show's a lot of fun. Um, of course, uh, they... People see us in many different uh, areas. They either love us or they hate us. They're, there's no in between with any character. Yeah, does um, it help your designing? Do you get? Well, I'm actually a fashion producer for the last 11 years. Uh, nine years really heavy into it. I've done about 80 something shows for various designers from around the world. Um, and then I actually went into uh, producing my own fashion label. I just got kind of tired of uh, going around and creating ideas for different designers that I said you know, it's about time for me to do my own bathing suit line. So that's actually, um, I had last Friday uh, during the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, the Gansevoort Rooftop, an incredible show, uh, my second show, very exciting. Um, great ratings, beautiful bathing suits, and featured my wearable towel, which was that's great. fantastic. Well, Congratulations. Wonderful. We saw a little bit of the video of the wearable towel, yeah. your show. Yeah. So while we have you here, we'd like to pick your ingenious mind. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about fashion trends that have come and gone. You know, Crocs are not, not doing so well right now. Company filed for bankruptcy. Right, 300 Sorry. million. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, and I know. They're, they're kind of, kind of look like the Flintstone, like clown shoes a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. I, I, like I don't Crocs. understand. I don't know why people wear those. I mean, it, it's a, a really a social suicide. Wow! Because I mean, <laughs> people are really serious about Crocs. I, I, love, I, mean, I love Crocs. I mean, I think they've taken an interest in our towel too. But um, but still, like I, Crocs, I mean, get it together. All I right, can't so, stand the holes in the shoes. Okay, so oh, this is this is great then. So for guys and girls, what are like your couple of do? Because like, it's Friday, people are uh -huh. going to be going out for a big weekend. Right. Give us a couple of hey, listen, if you wear this, no one's going to want to talk to you. Stay away from uh, this. You know what? I think really fashion has turned to uh, a freedom to express yourself. It's kind of like an art, a dynamic art these days. Um, I mean, you're, instead of using a paintbrush, you're using clothes and cosmetics to portray who you are. So I think fashion really these days are all about your own attitude and just uh, being, uh, expressing yourself in, in so the most freedom it, possible right? way. Yeah, uh, dress up to yourself. The way you want to portray yourself is the way how people are going to portray you first. That's okay. a first on look. Um, there really is no fashion trend these days. It's, uh, it's, I mean, you're getting mixes of the 40s and the 70s and the right. futures. I mean, there, it used to be all certain, like, one way, one way, one way. Now you're seeing kind of everything. It's all a collage. It's well, exciting. it was uh, good to have you here. Yes. And now I can wear clothes and feel good about them. Yes. I know. Thanks for being yes. here, chatting it up. Oh, by the, by the way, if you're just joining us, I'm wearing the wearable towel. Yes. Yeah, so Make it look good. At wearabletowel.com. Wearabletowel.com, and you can check out links to Ariel Stein's line and also a link to the cast bios for Miami Social. Yes. All you do is just click on As Seen on the Show on SouthFlorida.com. All righty, hot topic this morning. Gators quarterback Tim